Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook green beans with toasted tiger nuts. Now over the holidays people have a lot of dietary restrictions and this is a recipe where typically people like to add almonds for instance as a very traditional and classic dish, green beans with almonds. Um, I've also added pistachios and other nuts as well and they are delicious. However, some people are allergic to nuts. So tonight we're going to use tiger nuts and if you've never heard of tiger nuts before, they're actually little tubers that grow under the ground. They aren't even nuts at all. This is what they look like. They look like little wrinkly chickpeas or little nasturtium nodes from your flowers and they grow underground like carrots or potatoes. They're vegetarian, vegan, organic, non-GMO. They're great for the whole food, raw food, paleo diet. They're nut free, gluten free, cholesterol free. They have antibacterial properties. They have prebiotic in them. They have a resistant starch which is great for weight loss and also from what I hear, they're great for your sex life as well. So hey, there you go. Here we go, we're gonna cook. We have a nice big bunch of green beans. So get as many as you think you're going to need to serve for a whole bunch of people. This is gonna serve three people probably tonight and for our leftovers tomorrow. So I have a, a sauce pot, medium size, with water already coming up to a boil on the stove. There's about a teaspoon of salt in there, okay? So what I've done is I've just rinsed my green beans. I like to keep them whole. Some people like to, you know, French them or cut them into little inch chunks. I like mine as whole as possible. So cut those tips off or anything that doesn't look very pretty. Uh, you can keep those tips, put them in the freezer in a resealable plastic bag for the next time you make soup, stew, stock, broth, whatever. And uh, it gives them nice, a lot of nice flavor. Okay, so let's get that prepared. Okay, my water's brought up to a boil. Let's put these green beans in there. Okay, I'm gonna cook these guys until they're about al dente. I would say about 10, 12 minutes or so. You wanna make sure that they're knife tender. I don't like mine mushy, so I don't like them all the way to fork tender. Just get them a uh, little tender with a little bit of bite. That's why they're called al dente. In the meantime, I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to toast my tiger nuts. Now, what I've done is I took my whole tiger nuts, the, you can check out my review on these, whole tiger nuts, took a mezzaluna or a sharp sharp knife you can use and just uh, broke them up into crumbs, okay, like a, a chopped nut. Sprinkle those on there, have, I don't know, quarter cup or so, spread them out and these won't take but maybe, I don't know, four minutes, five minutes to toast, okay, into the oven they go. You want them to be a golden brown. Don't let them go too far. You don't want them to burn and become bitter, okay? Just golden brown. Okay, so I turned the beans down. Once it came up to a hard boil, I turned it down to a simmer. These guys have been going, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. My tiger nuts are toasted. They have a beautiful nutty aroma. They're golden brown. That's all I want, okay? Let those sit for a minute until our beans are done. green beans are tender enough for me. I like them this way. So I'm going to drain them off in a strainer and return them back to the pot. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of tiger nut oil. Make sure you check out this uh, review for this gorgeous raw premium organic tiger nuts first press extra virgin oil. It's awesome. It's going to cut down on how much butter we use. You don't have to use butter. You could use coconut oil or you could use ghee. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter as well just for that buttery flavor to satisfy everybody. Add some pepper. Add a little bit of salt if you like. Okay, now I am going to put about half of these tiger nuts in the pot now and then I'm going to keep the remaining to top the green beans with. Put the lid back on the pot and shake them up. That's how the easy way to mix this all up. Now you've got perfectly coated green beans with butter and those toasted tiger nuts into your serving bowl. Throw those nuts out. And here are the toasted nuts. Just go ahead and top the beans with as much as you like. And you'll get a little bit of those gorgeous toasted nutty tiger nuts that are nut free but it's going to definitely give you the same feeling as having real nuts on there for this classic dish. And there you have it. Beautiful. This is going to be fantastic. These are going to 
go beautifully with our tiger nut crusted outside round roast of beef. Make sure you check out that show, as well as our gluten-free tiger nuts Yorkshire pudding that are going along with this. Awesome. There you go. Mom, would you like to try this? Absolutely. Here you go. <laughs> Good? Mm, another triumph. A this triumph. Is awesome. Good. Would you know that it's nut free? No. That you I would think this was like chopped slivered almonds or something. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So look what happens here. You get these beans and they get coated like that with the butter and then the little bits of the nuts stick on there. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh. That is good. Mm. In fact, that's better than almonds because I'm not crazy about nuts in general. But tiger nuts have such a nice flavor. If you're wondering what they taste like, they have a slight coconutty flavor. When you toast them, they get nutty as well. Oh, they're fantastic. And that's how you do it. That's how you cook green beans with toasted tiger nuts on them. Perfect for the holidays, a really great addition, super conversation piece. Make sure you check out TigerNutsUSA.com for their whole nuts and their oil and flour and a whole bunch of delicious products that are really um, outstanding in the, in the kitchen. That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. Check me out on Instagram.com slash Web Chef of All Trades. Find my shows on YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And come to our website at CookingWithKimberly.com. Interact with us and subscribe. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.